So at the time of this recording, Winter Nexus is about two days out. So you could say, like, this is theory crafting, um, but it's really not. We know exactly what our resist profile needs to look like as far as our tank. We know what type of damage we need to be dealing. Um, so basically, this fit was all set up and ready to go. It's very similar to what we were dealing with um, in the Crimson Harvest. So about halfway through the Crimson Harvest, I had took the Praxis fit from the video that I put out for that, for those combat sites. And I modified it from an armor tank to an active shield tank. And it's an absolute beast. Um, since then, I've been running a lot of covert research facilities in it. It, it handles them with no problem. Um, to be right to the point, it's it's quite frankly overkill. Um, but it's less than 500 mil. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure you can get it for less than 400 mil. But just to be safe, we'll say less than 500 mil. It's not alpha friendly, however, so I will go ahead and put that little disclaimer out here right now. Um, I will include down in the description, I will make like a modified version of the fit and I'll, I'll leave it down there for you guys to grab. It'll be more new bro friendly. Um, I certainly wouldn't be trying to run any covert research facilities in it, but as far as just running these Nexus events, uh, it should be fine. So let's go ahead, we'll jump in here, take a look at this Praxis see what we're doing see how much dps we're doing see what you think So quite frankly, this thing is a big, slow beast. Um, there is one modification that I'll get to here in a minute that I would make if I was going to be using this for um, these event combat sites, simply because there's going to be frigates and destroyers in there as well as a battleship. Um, we're going to need something to help um, apply the damage a little bit to smaller ships. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, see what we got here. In the high slots, you've got six rapid heavy missile launcher twos. Uh, I've got those loaded up with Mjolnir, Fury, Heavy Missiles. Um, all total, I think, let's see, the missiles are running 791.9 DPS on their own. That's without drones, because these sites tend to be um, very hardcore with the drone aggro. So, like, you're going to put drones out, you're going to have to call them right back in. They're going to get destroyed, just absolutely destroyed. You're going to want to mainly save your drones um, for extra... DPS on whatever battleships may be at the end. Now in your mid slots, uh, I've got two multi-spectrum shield hardener twos, got two cap recharger twos, and cranking out a massive 1,232 HP every five seconds, we have an extra large shield booster two with two shield boost amplifier twos. Now this is the modification that I would make to this ship, if any is I would replace one of these Shield Boost Amplifier 2s. It's going to put you down to about mm, somewhere around 980 HP every 5 seconds, which is still plenty for these sites. Um, but I would replace it with a Target Painter, um, something to help you apply the damage to the frigates. And those will help tremendously. Now in the low slots, um, we have a Damage Control 2. We have two Co-Processor 2s two power diagnostic system twos, and two ballistic control system twos. Rigs, pretty simple and straightforward, just to try to juice this capacitor out, because we're sitting at 13.5, um, and there will be newts in these sites. We have two large capacitor control circuit twos, and one large capacitor control circuit one, because that's all we can fit in the rig slots. So as far as the drones, Imperial Navy Praetors is what you're looking at. Um, drones they're cranking out like 259 dps now i do have some salvage drones here um those are more for other sites uh, but you could take your time with these uh combat sites and go ahead and, and salvage too it's not a big deal if you want to do that now i have a bunch of junk here um 
personally in the cargo hold um, from some sites I was just running but the basic things you're going to want to worry about is just make sure you have different damage type um, heavy missiles and a pack rat mobile tractor unit those are the main things you're going to want to have um, as far as your cargo hold so this thing like I said it can run covert uh, research facility sites which are pretty intense because you're looking at uh, it could be like I think up to five five battleships on you um, at one time and sometimes it gets a little spicy um, now if you do have a clone that has crystal implants it's gonna make it massively more tankier if that's a phrase massively more tankier but for these event sites this thing is uh, way OP like it's it's overpowered to the max uh, you really shouldn't have any issue running any sites with this like I said, if you're alpha, I will go ahead and leave an alpha friendly um, bit down below. Basically, if it was me, I would go ahead and just switch out, um, let's see, the extra large shield booster for a tech one variant. Uh, same with the shield boost amplifiers. And I think probably the rapid heavy missile launcher twos would probably have to be swapped out for a tech one variant as well. Um, I actually flew this over with an alpha character uh, the only things that were offline were the weapon systems and the shield boosting. Now that may depend upon like what your skill level is. Um, you may just have to play with the fit a little bit and find something that works for you. Wishing you guys a happy winter nexus, happy hunting, and fly safe.